What's going on guys? It's Andrew here and welcome back to my channel where we talk about social security changes, the next two stimulus packages, and daily news updates as well. Democrats are now fighting to include a $1,000 stimulus check specifically for seniors in this next stimulus package. We also have big updates from Joe Manchin and how he might affect the payment dates for this next stimulus package as well. So let's discuss the details in this video, but before we do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I also have a second channel, so if you could do me a huge favor, click on the link that's in the description of this video, go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. I'm going to be giving away a stimulus check on that channel just as a thank you for supporting my work. Okay, so finally, good news for seniors. It's been over a year since President Biden promised to do specific stimulus for seniors. Over the last year and a half, we've had so much stimulus on top of stimulus checks. We had monthly stimulus checks for those on unemployment. We have monthly stimulus checks for people with kids. We've had some states approve hazard pay for frontline workers. And throughout all of this, President Biden had promised to do specific stimulus just for seniors. Now Democrats have announced a plan to do a $1,000 stimulus check for seniors, and they're calling this a $1,000 cash voucher. Now, this is a serious proposal. This has been proposed by Bernie Sanders and Chuck Schumer, which, of course, you know, are two of the top leaders in the Senate. And insiders are saying that there is a really, really good chance that this will end up in this current stimulus package. Now, before we jump into the details on that, let's do a quick update on daily trending news and potential payment dates for this next stimulus package. Of course, a lot of that has to do with Joe Manchin. Now, in trending news today, Joe Manchin's daughter, Heather Bresch, played a direct part in the EpiPen price inflation scandal. Guys, this just goes to show the conflict of interest that happens in Washington, D.C. We have Senator Joe Manchin, who has consistently defended pharmaceutical companies. And then we have his daughter, who was the CEO of the pharmaceutical company, which inflated prices on their EpiPen medication. So it kind of makes you think, right? When Joe Manchin doesn't want to vote to lower drug costs, is it because his daughter works for pharmaceutical companies, right? On top of the fact that these pharmaceutical companies could potentially be donating millions of dollars to his campaign. His daughter is currently involved in a genuine scandal when it comes to inflating medication prices. Now, emails surfaced between her and the CEO of Pfizer at the time, showing that they were colluding to limit the supply of EpiPen competition on the market, essentially creating a monopoly for his daughter's company, which then allowed them to inflate prices. And apparently they had some kind of deal where the two pharma companies split the profits, which ended up being much greater than they would have been if they had been competing against each other. Guys, this is completely completely illegal colluding two companies colluding together to create a monopoly that is illegal guys and his daughter is under the microscope right now and guys it really goes to show that when joe manchin is voting for things is he doing so with a conflict of interest is he not wanting to lower drug costs because his daughter works for pharma companies now guys let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below of course lowering drug costs is something that democrats plan to include in this next stimulus package and that has a lot of support so it's going to be interesting to see if it ends up in the final package especially when you see things like this guys because i mean if this comes out and then joe manchin votes against lowering drug costs Personally, I feel like that'd be a career killer for him, right? But let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Now, in regards to a potential payment date for the next stimulus package, Nancy Pelosi set a deadline of September 27th to fully have both the physical infrastructure plan done and the American family stimulus plan done. So if they meet that deadline, we would expect stimulus payments to go out sometime in October. The stimulus package is expected to have monthly stimulus checks for families with kids. Now we're expecting a $1,000 stimulus payment for seniors. And of course, some Democrats are still pushing for a fourth round of stimulus checks. Now that's currently our best case scenario, but the fact that it's already September 14th, and we still don't have the entire bill written kind of makes it seem like they might not hit that deadline and of course one of the main roadblocks in getting this done on time is Joe Manchin and he just held an interview saying that he really doesn't think it's going to be done by September 27th so he's kind of insinuating that he's going to delay this package meaning he would delay the payment date for these next stimulus payments 
But so let's take a look, see exactly what Joe Manchin had to say. Then we'll discuss the details, what we expect to happen next, when we think these payment dates will come, as well as the details of this new proposal for a $1,000 stimulus check for seniors. You don't have an urgency, don't you think? We ought to debate a little bit more, talk about it, and see what we've got out there. So you're not against this? You could support this three and a half trillion dollar no, plan. I cannot support three and a half trillion. Okay, okay. so that no, is a. Okay. All right, now yeah. we're getting to breath. <laughs> it, it, it is not a time issue. It really is a cost issue. We got five point four out right now. Okay, okay, that's a three five they want to spend over they, ten, over eight or ten years, depending well, three, on what. Five, but still, yeah, it's going to be based. It's, it's going to be a lot more than three point five over eight or ten years because it'll continue. All these programs will never come off. They haven't even scored out that far. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, that's a social reform. I'm just saying that we should be looking at everything, and we're not. And we don't have the need to rush into this and get it done within one week because there's some deadline we're meeting or someone's going to fall through the cracks. We've got child nutrition, all the things I want to make sure that children mm -hmm. are getting taken care of, that people are basically having an opportunity to go back to work. We have 11 million jobs that we haven't filled, 8 million people still unemployed. Something's not matching up there. And with that being said, we have people talking all the time that we can't find help. Or there's a reason for that. Let's, we haven't found so out. So what should they? So what would this bill look like if you were writing it from scratch? Well, I, if I was writing it from scratch, I'd be looking at first of all adjusting the tax code. I've always said that. I said basically the 2017 tax code was weighted unfairly to the wealthy. We need to change that. That's why I agreed to go to reconciliation. But I'm not going to go to a situation where I'm going to shoot myself in the foot and not be competitive globally. I think the corporations should be paying. There shouldn't be anyone escaping not paying their fair share. I think the IRS should be able to do its job, all of those things. But when you do all that, Chuck, realistically and honestly, what does that spin off? So Joe Manchin is essentially saying that we need to pause, take a look and see how the money goes that we spent from the previous stimulus packages. Those haven't even been fully spent. Let's take a look and see how the pandemic goes. Let's see how inflation goes. If it comes down, we can spend more. If inflation doesn't come down, we should probably pause and wait until it comes down until we inject more stimulus. Now, the problem with that is in order to do that, they would essentially have to wait six months to a year to see how these things pan out. And Nancy Pelosi responded saying, we are not pausing, we're moving full steam ahead and we're getting this done as quickly as possible. Now with that said, Joe Manchin responded and saying, nope, we're gonna have to take a pause. There is no way we're spending 3.5 trillion in this package. And he kind of insinuated that if they're willing to come down on the price tag, he might vote for this to get it done more quickly. So let's take a look and see what Joe Manchin had to say regarding the price tag of this bill. Moderate Democrat Senator Joe Manchin is urging fellow Democrats to hit the pause button on that $3.5 trillion spending bill, saying there are more urgent priorities. I would ask my colleagues and all of the Senate to hit the pause button on the 3.5. Hit the pause button. Let's sit back. Let's see what happens. We've got so much on our plate. We really have an awful lot. That's, I, I think that would be the prudent, wise thing to do. I know they're going to go nuts right now because it's probably being what I just said is going to all my caucus in Washington. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> the night before we voted on the infrastructure, bipartisan infrastructure bill, Bernie Sanders wanted to talk to me. And Bernie and I, we, I respect Bernie truly is a very, very much a socialist. He really is. And he, he makes no bones about it. I know where he's coming from. I know who he is. And I respect that. He don't make any bones. He don't try to hide it. So Bernie said, Joe, you know, I can kill this bill, which is the bipartisan infrastructure bill. And I said, Bernie, I, I, I know you probably could if you wanted to. And I says, I, I, I guess if, if people in Vermont don't need their roads fixes, bridge fixes, water, sore, <laughs> internet, I get, go home and tell them the hell with you. You're not going to do it. That's all. I said, yeah, you can kill it. Go ahead. And I, he said, well, I can kill on the other side. And I said, well, go over and tell them to go home and tell everybody what you don't need. Then he looked at me and said, you going to vote for the three, three and a half trillion? I said, hell no, Bernie, I'm not voting for three and a half trillion. He says, looked at me, he said, well, at least you're honest with me. I said, Bernie, I'm willing to work with you and let's see what we need and what we can afford to pay for. But just putting an arbitrary number, no, I'm not going to do that. So very interesting. Joe Manchin was saying that before they voted to approve the physical stimulus plan in the Senate, which was approved about two weeks ago, Bernie came up to Joe Manchin and said, hey, you know I can kill this physical stimulus plan, right? So before we do this, Bernie Sanders wanted to make sure you're going to vote for this $3.5 trillion package as well. 
kind of putting pressure on Joe Manchin saying, if you don't vote for my package, I'm not going to vote for yours. Because as we all know, moderate Democrats care more about the physical infrastructure plan. That's something that's more important to them, while progressive Democrats care more about the American Family Stimulus Plan, which will include direct stimulus payments. Now, that was about two weeks ago, and currently we're still in a stalemate when it comes to getting this stimulus package done. Now, as of filming this video, it's September 14th, and Nancy Pelosi originally gave Democrats a deadline of September 15th to have every single detail of this bill written. So we should have the details of this bill in the next couple of days. And then, of course, her deadline to have them both fully approved was September 27th, but the way things are going with Joe Manchin, we're not sure exactly what's going to happen. If Democrats are able to get Joe Manchin on board, we'll have this done by September 27th, and then stimulus payments should go out sometime in the first two weeks of October. So that would be our best case scenario for payment dates for stimulus. Now, if we can't get Joe Manchin on board, there's a good chance this won't get approved until October or November, meaning that stimulus payments wouldn't go out until November or December. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. The good news is Democrats have now proposed a $1,000 stimulus check specifically for seniors to end up in this stimulus package. Now, they're calling this a cash voucher. Now, this would apply to everybody who's 65 years and older because you would have to be on Medicare to qualify for this $1,000 stimulus check. Now, this stimulus check is kind of tied in with the expansion of Medicare, and Democrats are saying that they're going to expand Medicare in this package, but it's going to take a while to implement those programs. So in the meantime, they want to send seniors a stimulus check to help them cover their medical costs until Medicare is expanded, simply because these programs can take a very long time to fully implement. Now, Senate Democrats are weighing sending millions of seniors up to a $1,000 cash voucher so they can purchase new Medicare benefits next year. Experts say that Democrats want to send direct stimulus payments ahead of next year's midterm elections. Guys, this is something I talk about a lot in this channel. Democrats have been using stimulus checks to win elections. It worked in Georgia with those two Senate seats in Georgia in January. It's working in California. Governor Newsom is up for re-election. He approved a fourth and a fifth stimulus check in California, and it looks like he's going to win that election. Now Democrats want to do a $1,000 stimulus check for seniors to make sure they win these midterm elections in 2022. Now it's been proven basically that sending people stimulus checks helps win elections. Now, whether or not you think that's morally right, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But in any case, as long as we're getting more stimulus for the American people, personally, I'm all for it. Now, Senate Democrats are weighing issuing millions of seniors up to $1,000 in cash vouchers in this American Family Stimulus Plan so they can use this money to purchase new Medicare benefits next year while the expansion is being set up. Senior Democrats have not finalized the amount, though it should be between $600 and $1,000. Now, Senate Democrats are seeking to expand Medicare so it covers dental, vision, and hearing care and plan to include this in their American Family Stimulus Plan. This plan to expand Medicare is being pushed by Bernie Sanders and Chuck Schumer and has a lot of support from Democrats broadly, so is most likely going to end up in this package. Now, this expansion for Medicare will allow it to include vision, dental, and hearing care. The Senate wants to make sure these things are implemented immediately in 2022, but House Democrats are arguing that they should be included in waves. They want to include vision care in 2022, hearing care in 2023, and dental coverage in 2028. Now, this does not sit well with Bernie Sanders and Chuck Schumer. They want to implement these things immediately in 2022, and they want to provide a $1,000 stimulus check now in order to help you pay for your health care costs now until Medicare is expanded next year. Now, experts are saying that the fact that they want to do another stimulus check specifically for seniors shows the fact that Democrats want to produce more stimulus directly for the American people ahead of the 2022 midterm elections. Now, in these midterm elections, they're going to be defending their majority in both the House and the Senate. So there is a chance that Republicans could take over both the House and the Senate because Democrats have such thin margins in both chambers. Now, that would be a complete disaster when it comes to getting things done. If Republicans take over, even if it's just the House or the Senate, Nothing will get done in President Biden's last two years in office and we'll end up in a situation just like last year where Democrats controlled the House, Republicans controlled the Senate and nothing got done. And when it did, it took like a year just to get a stimulus package done when it should only take a couple of months. But yeah, overall, guys, this is really, really good news. Democrats want to include a $1,000 stimulus check for seniors 
And it seems like by seniors, they mean anybody 65 and older who's on Medicare. So this would include Social Security. This would include SSI and SSDI. Basically, anybody who's on Medicare would qualify for this $1,000 stimulus payment. Now, obviously, this is still not set in stone, and Democrats are currently writing the details of this package. But Nancy Pelosi gave them a deadline of September 15th, and as of making this video, it's September 14th. Now, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Quite honestly, we all know that things take longer than they say they will, but we expect to have the details either this week or next week. And then again, in regards to payment dates, we'll have to wait and see what happens with Joe Manchin. If they can get Joe Manchin on board, we do expect to have this package done by September 27th, which is the deadline that Nancy Pelosi gave. If they can't and negotiations drag on, we might not see this package approved until October. But guys, don't forget to subscribe and I will keep you posted as soon as we have more updates as to whether or not this $1,000 stimulus check is included in this package and when we can expect payment dates for this check and for everything else included in the stimulus package. Now, a lot of Democrats are slamming Joe Manchin for delaying this bill. Joe Manchin is saying that progressives are holding the physical stimulus package hostage and that they should approve that now and then then work on the American Family Stimulus Plan, but progressives are saying the opposite. They're saying that Joe Manchin is holding the American Family Stimulus Package hostage for the physical stimulus plan. Now, Joe Manchin just responded to AOC, who was saying that Joe Manchin holds weekly meetings with oil companies, and this is one reason that Democrats can't get anything done, basically because Joe Manchin is taking money from donors and not doing what's best for the American people. But let's take a look and see what Joe Manchin had to say defending himself, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm sure you've heard uh, your fellow Democrat, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, said this about you in a tweet. Manchin has weekly huddles with Exxon and is one of many senators who gives lobbyists their pen to write so-called bipartisan fossil fuels bills. It's killing people. Sick of this bipartisan corruption that masquerades as clear-eyed moderation. That's this is your fellow Democrat. Well, well, is it true that you have weekly meetings with Exxon not. and other absolutely lobbyists not. You for fossil fuel? Ever, no, they don't. Weekly meetings? I don't. It's just false. I, I keep my door open for everybody. It's totally false. And those type of superlatives, it's just awful. Continue to divide, divide, divide. I don't know the young lady that well. I really don't. I've met her one time, I think between sets here, but that's it. So we have not had any conversations. She's just speculating and saying things because she wants to. She's not the only one. I'm sure you've heard. There are a number of your fellow Democrats who say that you're opposed to this because you're I'm bought and paid for by I'm opposed corporate to it because donors. It makes no sense at all. I just gave you the facts. I've said this. You're entitled to your own facts. I mean, your own, uh, your own opinions. You're just not entitled to create your own facts to support it. And that's exactly what they're doing. The facts I've given you is the transition's happening. Reliability. Look what happened in Texas. It was natural gas that basically shut down in Texas that caused all that horrible carnage to people. It was awful. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Joe Manchin is biased? And do you think the fact that he's taking money from donors is the reason why we can't get these stimulus packages done? Or do you think he's a genuine moderate that just wants to come up with a compromise that works for both sides? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But in any case, Joe Manchin is the main roadblock that we have to getting these stimulus packages done. But we do expect to have a lot of updates in the next couple of weeks. So don't forget to subscribe and I will keep you posted on the next two stimulus packages social security changes, and daily news updates as well. So with that said, thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, take care and have a great day.